Hey guys, welcome back to another Lego Star Wars 2017 Word Set Review. Hey guys, this time we have Yoda's Jedi Starfire. It is ages 8 to 12. It's set number is 75168. It has 262 pieces. It retails for $25 in the, here in the US or $24.99. Um, guys, this is a set that I think should have been made a couple years ago because, from what I know, this is a Clone Wars set, like a Clone Wars themed set. That we, and as we have all thought, that Clone Wars sets were a distant memory, and Lego was going to stop making them, and basically Clone Wars themed stuff was basically extinct um, <laughs> from being made in the future. In the future, so after the Clone Wars series ended, um, with a sixth season, um, and so we now we get Yoda's Jedi, Star, Jedi Starfire from the Clone Wars, um, from the season season six of the Clone Wars anime series that. Was our was on Cartoon Network at the time and ended up on Netflix. Um, and it ended up being one of the most one of the most popular anime shows on Cartoon Network at the time. And so yeah, the Clone Wars was very popular for a lot of Star Wars fans because it brought back a lot of old characters for the movies. It, it, it was basically the biggest highlight out of the prequel trilogy, out of the prequel era, was the Clone Wars show. Uh, not the show, the ser anime series. Because it had a lot more in there, it explained a lot more that we didn't really get to understand in the movies on that much. So yeah, it really explained a lot. <laughs> um, so if you guys have not checked out the Clone Wars anime show, I gotta say you guys gotta well, I got, you guys gotta watch it because from season start from season one all the way to season six, and by the end of season six you're gonna be probably gonna be shocked to, to hell not realizing how good it was. Um, because we they got we got a lot of stuff that we never would have thought. We would have gotten so. I highly suggest watching the Clone Wars series on Netflix if you can, any time of your spare time. Just give it a watch. And so back to the review, guys. Um, so this is the OS Jedi Starfire. This is from season six. Um, the last few episodes of season six that we got it was with Yoga and R two. They were like flying, flying around the galaxy, and Yoga was basically being. Talked to by Qui Gon, Qui Gon's ghost. Um, and so he went to Dago by everything. He worried about Darth Sidious and a little bit about the future of the Jedi and the Republic and how they were going to be destroyed by the Sith um, and Sidious and not unknowingly Anakin, <laughs> um, but most mostly Sidious. Um, and so he's trying to figure out the mystery of the Sith and how to destroy him and what. The future hulks for the light side of the force, um, and that's basically like the end of. Like, it was basically the official end of the Clone Wars series, because. But there was originally planned to be eight seasons, but I think we never got a chance to see the, the rest of the episodes of the series that were planned. But we got to see a lot of concept art for those episodes. So Lucasfilm basically treated, and now they, we got Rebels, and so they basically have Rebels make it sound like. What we did see in the Clone Wars series actually did happen. We just never saw it because they they kind of canceled the Clone Wars series for because of Disney's reasons for buying Lucasfilm. And so yeah, very interesting. Just a little bit of a fun fact about the Clone Wars series and Rebel series all put together. Um, and so this is the Jedi Starfire. It comes with Yoga, the movie version of Yoga, not the Clone Wars anime Yoga, and we get R two. So not really any new main figures in this set, but it's always great to have these two characters um, because we don't get that much of yoga because most of the sets that come with yoga are pretty expensive so this is a good, great way for people to get this new yoga baby figure that's been around since 2013 so yeah and R2, we've gotten R2-D2 in many other sets so he's pretty easy to find nowadays um, so let's get into the main figures then the Starfire itself and then we'll get to the final thoughts afterwards so let's go guys Okay guys, so here we have our two main figures for the set, Yoga and R2-D2. Um, as you can see guys, these two main figures are not new, and they're basically the same version we've gotten for the past 3-4 years now. And so they got nothing new about R2-D2, we'll start with him real quick. It's always nice to get this version of R2 because I love the detail on this little droid. Gotta admit, this is the best version of R2-D2 Lego has made up to date. And I don't see really a 
major changes that they could really make. So they basically topped him. I got him with what they could do with the ability of creating May figures. I got him to get a really good job on R2. So it says I have him again. Um, and then we got Yoga. Now, the first time we saw this Yoga May figure was on the Dual Genosha set from 2013 in the episode 2 sets. Um, and so, and then we got him in the Home Expired Droid set from last year. And so, I don't remember that we got him in any other sets other than that, but for what I know, this is maybe, it, it, for what I remember from distant memory, this is like the third set we got this Yoga May figure in. Because I know we got him in the Toy Story's ex Toy Story's exclusive Home Inspired Droid from Revenge of the Sith, and we got him in the, on the dual Genosha set from Attack of the Clones. Um, and then we get him in the, in the Clone Wars set, so, in Season 6 Clone Wars set, so, yeah. Not really different with him at all. He's got his usual green lightsaber. Um, the detail on his head is very impressive. I've always loved this Yoda baby figure because of the detail and how act movie accurate he, he looks. Everything. Gray hair on the back. Because that's Jedi Robes a hood on the back of him as well. That's praying with him everything. Jedi Robes everything. You, he, your usual yoga. <laughs> so yeah. Your movie accurate yoga. Yeah, I'm kind of relieved to that they're going to bring the anime Yoda head back. Because I never really liked that Yoda head at all. Even though it was Clone Wars, I still didn't like it all that much. I kind of liked this one more. Because it was more accurate to what he actually looked like. So yeah. Um, so those are the two main figures, guys. Guys, um, not much with them because we we've all seen them before multiple times in the past. So let's get into the main vehicle itself, the Jedi Starfire, and we'll get into the final thoughts afterwards. All right, guys. So here is Yoga's Jedi Starfire, and I gotta admit, this Starfire is kind of small. I gotta admit, and I. No, I don't actually. Have, I don't have my, the usual size at the moment, but I, I'll tell you right now, it's very small compared to the other ones. Um, it's because the other ones are usually a little bigger in like length. It, it, like, if you know the giant air sensors I'm talking about, like the Revenge of the Sith, Obi Wan, Anakin, Starfire, that you, you don't know what, what I mean. Because when you open these wings up, you can see that the main wings here, the main middle wings here, are pretty small. <laughs> and I can't understand why, because it's Yoda's Jedi Starfire, so Yoda was a small Jedi, so like a small species, a type of a Jedi, so it, it would make sense for him to have a small Jedi Starfire to match his resemblance to him, and so everyone would know that this is Yoda's Jedi Starfire and no one else could use it because they probably wouldn't fit in here. <laughs> they probably wouldn't fit in there. So yeah. <laughs> um, so. Yeah, that's one of the main features to the set is that you can open the wings up any way you want to. You can open them like this here, or you can open them up like you would usually open them in this curved version way. I have it be as flying mode, everything, and take off everything. And so and then you can simply close them up like this, like that. Here we got some sticker detailing here. Nothing, nothing on the bottom. Just on the top. Those are stickers. This is stickers here, and. There's that the many stickers. Oh, by the way, there's stickers back, back here too. So yeah, and then here are the engines back here. Um, spring loaded shooters are down here. This is where you put R2. And I just found one of the spring loaded shooters. I bet. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do first? Put R2 in there. As you can see here. Just, it just sticks right in there, and that's what it looks like inside. Kind of open to the back, but it's kind of expected because this, this is a small Starfire. Um, now, we're gonna put Yoda in the cockpit, and what's cool is that not only does this open, the main window opens, but this whole top part opens as well. So you can really get Yoda in there real good, so that's good. So we're gonna stick Yoda over here to take a lightsaber off, because unfortunately for this set, Wago did take up the idea of where to put the lightsaber, <laughs> because I can't understand why, because this Death Starfire is small, but it doesn't mean they could have an idea of where they could put the lightsaber. So, Originally, you would have to just put it on the side, but what you can do is you can just break it, just break it apart. You just stick it in the Starfire, like anywhere you want. Just have it sit in there. And so Yoda's in there, and I just push him out. <laughs> the lightsaber pieces out, so I can stick it back in there.
There we go. Now we're gonna stick the other pieces back in there. That's snug in there. We're gonna close it up. And by the way guys, there's not really much detail in there. In the cockpit, because it's pretty small, so I can see that. And I'm sure all you guys think too. And so, our two characters are inside the Starfire, and then they're ready to take flight and attack. Um, so we're gonna put this one back in, the shirt back in. And so, we're just gonna pretend they were tar- it, they were trying to target, um... Let's see, we'll, we'll try to target this here. One of my figure stands. Here, I'll try to target that. And all you do really is just push them down. Nope, completely missed. So I guess you know, I guess Yoga needs more training with flight, with flying. <laughs> this giant starfire is sitting in his chair in the giant high, high council room, all day long on coruscant. <laughs> so yeah, so that is Yoda's giant starfire, guys. Not really much to this set because it is a small set, but it's always great to have another Clone Wars set because it's been years since we got our last Clone Wars set, and I think it was like back in. 2014, I think, in the, in the 2014 Wear Wave, we got our last two Clone Wars sets, the AV7 Republic Can and the uh, Republic Police Gunship. So, it's been a while since we got a Clone Wars set, I gotta admit. But we got in prequel sets before for the movies, but we never got it except from the Clone Wars animated show in a, a long time, like three years now. So, it's always great to have another Clone Wars set, like I said before, because I, and for me, I love the Clone Wars sh the series. Um, it basically, this, that, that's what basically got me into Star Wars in the first place, was just watching the Clone Wars series and realizing how good it was. So, yeah. So let's get on to the final thoughts, guys, and then we'll end up the review. So here's the box, guys. As you can see, this is a small, average, $25 set box. It is very thick as well, just like the dual the Naboo set. Um, as you can see, we got Digaba on here, the Planet Digaba on here, and we got Yoda and, Star and Starfire being attacked by the Separatists, I think. Um, and then we got our main figure selection here, Yoda and R2. We got the Dizzy logo down here, set information on the side. We got the Lego Star Wars logo up there with the Rogue One um, Star Wars merchandise art, like toy art, the packaging, and the, pa the art packaging. Packaging art, whatever you guys want to call it, <laughs> but it's Rogue One based because Rogue One just came out. Um, it's about to come out on DVD in a month now, so or less than a month. Um, so we got yeah, we got the Death Troopers, everything, Tie Fires, all that just really cool, really cool art packaging. I got a good, great job on that Star Wars uh, Star Wars crew. Um, and then on the back we got all the big features here: the spring shirts, the opening wings, um, the opening cockpit, and the Astrobeck droid socket, like anyway, plug-in, um, and so that's really it, guys, for the box. Um, and so overall, I think this set is really cool. It, I gotta admit, it, is it definitely worth picking up if, if you guys are a Clone Wars fan? Because this was really from the Clone Wars animated series. Because I don't remember seeing Noah's Jedi Starfire any other time in Star Wars, other than those four episodes that featured Yoda R2 at the end of season six. Of the Clone Wars, um, which were very awesome. I got me; those were probably some of the best episodes from season six, um, by far. Um, and so I gotta admit, great set overall. I'm gonna have to rate this a nine out of ten or a ten out of ten. Does that really much wrong with it? The only thing that I think that's wrong with it is they should have thought of a place for Yoda's lightsaber, other than just throwing it inside the cockpit with Yoda. <laughs> But other than that, this is a great set, I gotta admit. It, it's, it's very unique, I gotta admit. We've seen giant starfires before that are similar to this, but nothing like this. This, this is a, like a, a different size. This is basically the giant air scepter just shrunk down a little bit. So we're, we're gonna have some very similarities with the play features, but not that much of a similarity though. At the same time, they're probably gonna be very different. Um, and so, I gotta say guys, I rate this a 9 out of 10. And that's all I really had to say about the set, other than how cool it is to have another Clone Wars anime series set <laughs> since 2014. <laughs> and so hopefully Lego will decide to keep making more of these Clone Wars sets and prequel sets. Because there's one set in particular I've been waiting for Lego to remake. is the Mustafar lightsaber duel. And we got a set from that for that scene in 2005, but Lego's never 
remade it for the second time, so hopefully they'll make it again eventually. <laughs> and so, that's gonna be it, guys. So be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next Lego Star Wars 2017 Where's the Review. Or a other re or not review, a other video that I do. Um, I do all kinds of videos, or at least I'm trying to. Regard the copyright nonsense that YouTube that YouTube tries to kick me out on, <laughs> it tries to it tries to copyright me on for some reason. I, I'm still trying to figure that out. So I, that's probably why you guys are seeing me posting videos and then get rid of them because of copyright issues, and all that. So I'm try still trying to figure it out, but hopefully eventually I'll be able to figure it out. So I'll be able to keep making uploading different stuff for you guys. That's Star Wars because I. Because the YouTube channel I have is a Star Wars channel, so not just a, it was originally just Lego stuff, but I'm trying to do some more different stuff so I can expand it a little bit, make it a little more fun for not just me but for you guys, the viewers. So just a little bit of a tip it there for you guys, so you guys know what's been going on for a little bit, or is a little bit of what's been going on. And so yeah, so have a great day, guys. Bye. And may the force be with you.